not big tongues, but how about a victor mentality? In other words, the scripture says God always causes us to triumph. I, I think about one of my favorite scriptures there is in Isaiah. It says, no weapon formed against you will prosper. And I think part of the promise in that that we need to see is that God didn't say that things would never form against us. Of course, we're going to have battles. Life happens to all of us. But the promise is, hey, this may have formed, but Lord, I thank you that it's not going to prosper. In other words, it's not going to take me under. Let me tell you, God has the final say. There's nothing you're facing today that is a surprise to God. It may have formed against you, but keep that attitude of faith in your heart. Not fall into the victim and tell, oh, why did this happen, man? I come to church every week. I, I, I got this problem over in my health. Let me tell you, you have an enemy that's trying to stop your destiny, but the forces that are for you are greater than any force that is trying to stop you. God is breathing in your direction right now. It may have formed, but it's not going to prosper. I love that in Psalms. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. So you may be in a difficulty, uh, but your report should be, I'm coming out. The Lord has delivered me out of them all. Let me tell you, 2022 is not going to be a get-by year. It's going to be a bountiful year in your life. You're going to see God do some unusual things.